we're going to be uh, doing something a little different. We're going to do what they call a holographic lure and be the holo holograms in the inside of them there. <laughs> be doing two and tonight we're going to play with a different paint uh, we're going to play with a uh, createx paints tonight so we're going to do one uh, in this uh, pearlized createx it's a green it's a pearl green and then we're going to do one in this createx and it's a flamingo pink and we're going to put yellow bellies on them and I'm going to take just a little bit of this apple barrel on one of them and stripe the side so you can see the holograph behind the stripes so let's get this party started on these folks I don't even prime these we're just going to start shooting paint so the first color we're going to be shooting is going to be this pearl green and uh, folks you don't have to thin this paint and that's a, a nice thing about it uh, you just don't have to thin it you can shoot it so we So folks, if you want to get a wider pattern on your lures, stay back here. And if you want to paint a smaller pattern, you just stay right up inside, right up close. And just run down that lure. See that right there? So we're going to heat set that right quick. And then we'll throw another coat. And make, uh, down the top of our lure right there so it, that's very pretty and you'll actually be able to see through this green too into that hologram so let's uh, clean our brush right. so let's move on to this pink let's get it shook up real good <clears throat> open it up I ain't even open these folks I just bought them a couple of days ago so open them get that shook up real good and uh, let's move this over here where we can see it get us a few drops of this pink that's about all it takes is about four drops and then a couple more pounds of air pressure and blow that out so let's give her a whirl and see what we got here remember stay up close when you're doing this Throw it on there and let it dry. And you may have to put two or three coats. It might be a multiple coat. And jump in here and hit another coat. pink though quite a bit lighter than that green let's let that dry for a minute or we'll dry it let's hit one more little coat on this and reach in here and paint this nose so now we're getting into the holographic part so we put about four drops of yellow in the brush and now we're just going to start coating the, the bottom coat it and let it dry that would come up the side just a little bit which that's fine because you can still really see the holograph in there so let's dry this one. Little bitty light stripe on him. But I want y'all to be able to see. The holograph behind the stripe. You see my stripes there? Now I'm going to bring that pink on that third coat back over those stripes you'll be able to see the holograph behind the stripes so 
let's clean this booger off and jump over here to the other side. Just a light strap on the other side, just like that. Now that we're looking for a little bit of pink, just to kind of go right down those sides. Just kind of cover that black just a little bit. So we'll give them about 15 minutes to, to finish air drying and then we'll get over there and epoxy them. So we're over here at the epoxy table. And the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pull the tape off the bills. That's it. Kind of something we expected to have to do anyway. So you don't ever want to epoxy with tape on the bills. Live and learn, folks. So this is our our green one. And it's holographic. You can see through the green, you can see through the yellow, and you can actually see the holographic part in it. And this is our pink and yellow one here. If you can maybe see it. I don't know. It's not the best lighting in the world. So let's figure out what eyes we want to put on these. Yeah, I got some silver eyes here. Let's get some silver. So we're gonna put these silver eyes on them. And these are number six eyes, so. Let's get these eyes put on. Just like that right there. Well, there's our eyes. These out of the way and let's mix some epoxy and get some hanging hooks out here and get them ready. So, right quick. Let's throw some epoxy on them, folks. As always, my syringe. I mix my epoxy to exact measurements. Uh, we use DevCon, two and a half ton epoxy. So let's we'll start over here with the uh, the clear. And then we'll put the hardener next. So I think we won't need over two cc's of each.
Now on these lures, I'm not putting any glitter in them whatsoever. So there's two. Just add two more to the top of it. There's four. Let's just throw it out there. Mix it up and move on to the next round. Start putting it on there real smooth. Go over that eye good. And there's our pink one, epoxied. We'll take this dude, and just reach in here and clean that eye out. Put the drip hook on it. And hang it over here to dry. Now let's get on to our green one. And this one is the one that has no stripes on the side. It's just straight holograph. Let's get it kind of painted up. Those are green one. So let's get it put on the drip hook and get it ready to hang up to dry. That's it. And uh, when them get dry, we'll finish this video out uh, and I'll show you what they come out like. Remember, folks, to like, subscribe, and share it to my channel, uglydoglures.com. You can go onto our web website and order any lures that you see me paint because I keep a back stock of painted lures. Uh, hit that notification bell too. Tell your friends, tell your buddies. So I'll catch you in a little while.